Hey guys, um, sorry I look like crap and sound like crap, I'm still sick, and it's late and I'm tired, but I wanted to make a vlog. I've been up since, uh, 6.15 this morning. I had to wait in line to get a bus ticket to go home and come back for Thanksgiving, blah, 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 Thanksgiving break. I waited 2 hours and 15 minutes. Um... So that kind of sucked. What is this hair piece of hair doing? But, um, and right after that, I waited in line for the ticket, got my ticket. I had to go straight to class. I was in sweats and I had my glasses on. I didn't eat breakfast. <coughs> Sorry. So, like, during that class, when I got really quiet, my stomach growled and the kid next to me started laughing. I was like, oh, great. Thanks. Um, we watched a movie, so I almost fell asleep. That was bad. But yeah, it's been a long day, and I didn't nap at all today. I usually nap, but I didn't have time. No time. I don't even have time to do this, but I really don't feel like studying for my nutrition test tomorrow. I mean, it's online, but so I can have my book, but it's timed, so I don't really have time to look everything up. So I should be studying, but it's so boring that I don't want to, and now I'm doing this. Anyway. I didn't even, and I didn't answer any questions yet. So Amber's question was, something you want to do before you die? Um, there's nothing really, like, deep and profound I want to do. I mean, ideally, I guess I would like to, um, you know, do, leave, blah, 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 do something and have people remember it. What you were saying, Amber, but... I don't know if that's something I have, like, a burning desire to do. What I really want to do is travel. I, like, you know, visit places like... Oh, I've been dreaming of going to Italy, so that's something I want to do before I die. Definitely. A lot of other countries I want to visit, but I think that's the one I want to visit the most. <coughs> oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, so that's what I want to do before I die. What was my question for the week? Oh my gosh. I just forgot. Oh! Yes. Like I said on Twitter, um... <laughs> in my, uh, microbiology class, we had to do this project. We were given a, um, broth with a, um, two types of bacteria in it, and we had to figure out what they were. Um, and we had to, like, you probably have no idea what this means, but we had to um, do a street plate, and then do pure cultures, and then we had to run a bunch of tests on it. Like, one of them is pathogenic, one of the uh, microbes. So, like... He gave us like a little story, like this, a little case study on um, like what one of the bacteria did to someone. Like it, I'm sorry, this makes no sense. All right, you know, let me start over. Okay, in microbiology lab, we had to we were given two microbes, two bacterial microbes, and we had to figure out what they were by running a series of tests, and um. Sorry, I, <laughs> I can't breathe. This cold is killing me. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, we had to run tests to figure out what they were. Well, one day I went in to do, I wasn't doing um, this project, but my test results were in there, one of the tests I did, and I looked at it, but I didn't have my lab notebook with me, so I didn't know what it meant. Like I had everything all the sheets printed out saying like how all the tests work and what the results mean. I didn't have it with me. So I didn't know what the results meant. I should have wrote down what they were, but I didn't. I was just like, I'll look at it tomorrow. So I, ended, I have to go to lab like every day because of this project. Um, and so I went back there to do the test. I mean, to look at the test and it was gone. 
like, what the heck? I looked all over the room. I asked one of the TAs to help me find it. She couldn't find it. She said to ask the teacher. But the teacher's kind of a douchebag. So I asked him where it would be. He was like, oh, I'll look for it. And he never did. I didn't think he would. So um, the TA told me that the test results, if it was the broth was yellow or orange or something, it was negative I think and if it was hot pink it was positive I don't think it was hot pink so I'm like all right I'll just say it was negative so I go to turn in my um paper with all my test results and my diagnosis not really diagnosis I am um, the bacteria I had I had it picked out and it was wrong because of the last test that's the only thing I did wrong so um, I lost points for that, and I was pissed. Um, I, I almost got a perfect score on it, but no. He had to lose my test. Or somebody lost it. <coughs> but, whatever. So, anyway, I just really wanted to vent about that story because that made me really mad. Like, I'm doing horrible in that class, and I need every last point I can get. Oh crap, I just realized I have to turn something else in for this tomorrow. Um, yeah, like one of the back, one of the types of bacteria that I had to figure out what it was caused like pneumonia or something, like, like I was saying with my case study. So, I, to get extra points, I could turn in like a diagnosis of what the disease is exactly. I'm not sure if I could say pneumonia. I think it's something else. Pneumonia is a symptom, right? But that's not the disease. I'm sorry. I'm carrying on. Um, so I have to do that. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, my question for the week is, um, have you ever had a teacher that kind of screwed you over? I mean, this isn't really a big thing that I got screwed over with, but I am doing really, I am on the verge of failing this class, and I don't want to lose any more freaking points. I mean, I'm banking on lab giving me points and letting me, allowing me to pass this class, because the tests are really hard, and I haven't been doing well, so. Um, yes. My question is, have you ever had a teacher screw you over? This is your chance to vent, I guess, because... I'm sure you, I'm sure this is, you know, stuff like this has happened to you guys. Well, I mean, not specifically this, but, you know, teachers screwing you over. All right. I really can't talk now, and I feel like I'm going to have a coughing fit, so um, I'm going to end it. Okay. Bye.